Welcome back guys. In today's Spanish lesson I want to talk about huge huge numbers like these, right? And although we usually do not use these huge numbers in our uh, everyday life, however when we read the newspaper, when we read the economic or fa financial section we come across these numbers when talking about economy, about uh, GDP growth and things like that. And the reason why I want to speak of this is to clarify a very common confusion between English and Spanish that causes uh, translations uh, in uh, Spanish newspapers to be incorrect. I frequently come across incorrect information in Spanish uh, newspapers um, I don't mean Spanish only from Spain, I mean Spanish from Spanish speaking countries and uh, when they take economic information such as uh, GDP growth or, uh, or uh, recession, when, when speaking about billions and trillions or, of dollars and they take that figure from uh, an English interview and they translate it into Spanish to, to publish it in the newspaper, that information is very often wrong. And this is the reason why it is wrong. We have between English and Spanish what we call false friend words. Okay? Words that are identical but that have different meaning and that causes the confusions. So, I titled my topic for today Huge Numbers Typical Confusion Between English and Spanish. So, let's begin with this number, 1 million, okay? 1 million. This is how we call it in English, 1 million when we have six zeros, right? In Spanish it's easy, it's un millón. Un millón. You see, you write it very similarly, it's almost identical, and it means the same thing. However, when we have three more zeros, it gets a bit more confusing, because here we have nine zeros. This is what in English we call one billion, right? However, in Spanish, this is not un billón. This is mil millones. Mil millones. This literally means 1,000 millions, okay? So, while this is called 1 billion in English, in Spanish they call it 1,000 millions. Mil millones. Here we have 10 billions in English. But in Spanish this will be 10 mil millones. That is, 10,000 millions. This is 100 billions, right? 100 billions. But in Spanish, this is 100 mil millones, or 100,000 millions. 100,000 millions, okay? A hundred thousand millions. And here we have twelve zeros. Twelve zeros. Look at this. We have four sets of three zeros each. One, two, three, four. That's twelve zeros in the one. In English we call this one trillion. Yes? One trillion. And when we talk about the uh, GDP of the United States of America, we talk of trillions, right? However, if we translate this into Spanish to publish in, into a Spanish-speaking uh, press, right? We cannot speak of trillones, right? But of billones. This, what in English is one trillion, in Spanish is un billón. You see? Twelve zeros 
is one trillion in English and is un billón in Spanish. You see how confusing this gets. So, what would be one trillion in Spanish? If we want to talk of one trillion in Spanish or un trillón, un trillón in Spanish would be this very long number. This is one million, right? This is one billion or mil millones. This is one billion or un billón. This is one trillion or mil billones in Spanish. And this is what we call one billion in sorry, one trillion in Spanish. Yes? One trillion in Spanish. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah. One trillion in Spanish. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, no, eighteen zeros. This is un trillón. And in English this would be, let's see, one million, so a billion, trillion, Oof. Ah, it doesn't make any sense to see what it is in English, but this is, this is un trillón in Spanish. Let's write it down. This is such a huge number in Spanish that we almost never see this written anywhere, okay? Un trillón. However, incorrectly, many times you, we can read in the newspapers the word un trillón because it has been incorrectly translated from English one trillion as un trillón. That's why I wanted to um, show you this this topic, okay? One more thing I want to show you is the differences between the English and Spanish numerical notation. You can see that in English we use the commas to separate the zeros, right? To, to divide the, the groups of zeros, groups of three, right? Just to make it more clear to the, to the vision. Instead of having all these zeros together, we group them in groups of three divided by commas. In Spanish, however, we use the point or the dot to divide the zeros. And while in English we use the dot or the point to uh, divide the units from the decimals, in Spanish it's the other way around. We, we use the comma here, right? So while in English we would say 1000 point zero, in Spanish we would say mil coma cero, right? This would be two millions five hundred and thirty thousand three hundred and fifty point thirty. This would be in Spanish dos millones quinientos treinta mil trescientos cincuenta coma treinta. Okay? So I hope this is clear and uh, so you won't have this confusion that is so unfortunately common. So this is the end of the lesson. Goodbye.